Okay, we're going to talk today about 7x7 seven seven construction wire ropes. Uh, Techni, we stock half a mil diameter up to 12 millimeter diameter in these products in galvanized and stainless steel. Um, now, I've got a few examples here to show you, ranging from an 8 mil cable right down to a 1.5 mil cable here, and an intermediate one, which is a 4 mil. First, you're just looking at the construction of the cable, which we've got up on the screen here. Uh, you can see why it's called a 7x7. Seven seven. It's got seven strands, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all containing seven wires, which makes up 49 wires in the cable in total. It's a fairly flexible cable in small diameters, but when it gets to diameters like this 8mm, let's put my safety glass on, it's not very flexible basically so if you're going to do work on site you might want to consider going for a more flexible construction if you're going to start forming soft eyes in the end of the cable this cable is pretty good with assuageless terminals and with uh, socketed type ends um, you can use wire rope grips with it but you've got to really know what you're doing when it gets to the bigger diameters in the smaller sizes like 4 mil it's considerably more flexible so you could use this for things like catenary wires and stay wires it's not particularly good working rope for working over sheaves at this diameter you'll find that the cable will break up quite quickly when it gets down to these really small diameters it starts to become much much more flexible still not the best thing for working over sheaves but it'll last considerably longer than the bigger diameters so um, yeah it's 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 a it's a working rope when it gets to that size now just looking at the actual cable most of the um, 7 7 you'll find on the market is um, a right hand lay now that basically means that the helix on the cable goes up to the right it doesn't matter which way up you look at it it's always going up to the right um, and the cable is also preformed, which means it's got a, a set in the cable. Now, this is actually put in at the manufacturing stage, and you can see you can unwind that and then you can wind it back up, and the cable doesn't fray. So, there you go. So, it's pretty good for when you're cutting it, it doesn't actually fly open like some people would imagine it does. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's a good feature of that cable. Now, it's an equal laid cable, which means that um, it's a six over one construction. So these six outer strands here run around this central strand here. Now you can see that these little wires here are actually touching on the crowns. Now that actually makes the cable not so good in fatigue performance. It, it tends to break up quicker because of, um, of that makeup. But because all the wires are the same size, it's quite an easy cable to make, to, to actually manufacture. So it's actually quite a cost-effective product. Okay, typical applications for 7x7 cable. In the smaller diameters, it can be used for winching type applications. Uh, most commonly, it's used for things like lanyard tagging um, and things like that. Uh, but it's, it can run over little pulleys and sheaves. Not the greatest cable for fatigue performance. When it gets to like diameters like 4 mil, it's great for balustrade infill, great for catenary wires, for straining lights across roads and things like that. Um, so long as it's a lightweight, but it's nice and easy to work with on site. You can see you can form loops in this pretty easily. When it gets to this sort of diameter, 8 mil, you probably don't really want to be trying to form loops in the end. You can see it's getting really, really uh, stiff and difficult to actually form an eye in. Probably better to use swageless terminals with this type of product. Um, you could obviously, if you have a hydraulic press, fit thimble eyes in this still, but not on site really. It's starting to get a bit more tricky. On the uh, test certificates, you'll sometimes see uh, certain terminology like 1570 newtons per square millimetre or 1770 newtons per square millimetre and uh, that's basically the tensile of the wire now you'll find that stainless ones like this 8 mil cable they're generally 1570 newtons uh, per square millimeter now that um, equates to ips in in the us which is improved plow steel when you get to uh, the galvanized versions they're generally 1770 to 1960 newtons uh, tensile now that equates to eips in um, in the american standard which is extra improved plow steel 
this cable doesn't generally uh, come in higher tensiles than that, although it could be manufactured in EEIPS or extra, extra improved plow steel. When you order this cable, uh, we supply it by the meter and uh, we can supply it cut to length like these examples here or we would supply it in a reeled length or a coiled length subject to what length you order. Now, uh, we would always supply it as a single length unless you actually specify you want it cut, but we can cut it with auto cutting capability, so uh, we could do that and we can also electro fuse the ends. So, okay, thanks for your time watching this video. Uh, all these cables are stocked at Techni UK, so we can ship worldwide. So, if you want to check out our website, that's www.techni.uk. Thanks a lot.